here in Dallas for work, but I couldn't bring my booster board on the plane, and there's not really a good way to get around. So I'm gonna try and find like a sporting goods store and see if I can pick up like a penny board or something small that will uh, kind of get me around town. Like I said, I'm traveling for work right now. I'm in Texas. Um, when I travel, I always have like things that I have got to bring. I always bring my iPad, always bring my laptop, and since I've been doing YouTube, always bring my camera. The only other staple that I always bring is these Bose noise-canceling headphones. They save you if you're on the plane, if you're on a train, there's like babies crying or whatever. They literally take the sound down when you hear like all these people talking, Whatever's going on on the plane, it sounds like this, and it's so loud you can't watch your movie. So if you switch to headphones like these, it cancels everything out, and they're amazing. So that's like my staple whenever I go traveling. But I recently just got one more that seems to be like really, really effective. My wife bought these packing cubes called Shack Packs, Shack -hay Packs, Shake Packs. I don't really know, but anyway. They're these little like packing cubes. This is a small one that's like a toiletry bag size. And then there's like a bigger garment bag size where you're supposed to be able to fit like, I don't know what the percentage is, but an extremely increased percentage of stuff in your luggage because everything gets compacted into these cubes. So I thought I would give it a try. These are all the clothes that I have here. So hopefully it will fit all this stuff here into this carry-on bag that I have. So I actually tried it once on the way here, but I didn't really do it properly. Holy ISO. There we go. Uh, but I didn't really do it properly. So what you're supposed to do is you layer a clothes out and then you roll up your shirts and anything else you can roll up. And then that should compact all of it into the little bag and we should be able to put everything into that carry-on. So this is just like a business trip hack that hopefully helps you guys out with these shack packs. All right, I just finished with these shack pack packing cubes and you saw all the clothes I had before, and now they're basically all rolled up in these two tiny shack packs. This one is mostly like shirts and pants, and then the other one here is socks and underwear and stuff like that. You can see in this like toiletry size bag. So this does probably like 10 or 20% uh, more space you get out of your bag, mostly because you're forced to try and fit everything into these little shack pack um, cubes. So you're thinking more about like the space you have in your suitcase. So this is the suitcase here. Now we'll just drop in the shack packs and you kind of get an idea of like how everything fits together. Here, and then this one pops in the side. And then you just gotta get creative. Whew, I'm sweating. That took a little bit of a uh, little bit of doing. But now everything's packed into our suitcase. This wasn't an endorsed video for the cubes. I'm just always looking for new ways to make sure that I can carry my bags on as opposed to checking them. So this A gives you a little bit more space and B helps you organize your clothes a little better. So especially if you're out traveling, you can put some of your dirty clothes in one of the cubes and the clean in the other. Or if you're traveling like with your wife or whoever and you're separating your clothes, it's a good way to separate them like right in the suitcase. Then you can grab your cube and you have all your clothes for that trip. So that's it guys. As always, if you want to stay up to date on the latest videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. I will see you guys later.